Maybe the last thing you'd want to do, though, is be at the scene of a fire, wearing heavy equipment and battling a stubborn flame. That's exactly, though, where Milwaukee firefighters were earlier today. You can see the wreckage and the rubble behind her at CBS 58's Jenna Wells, live on the south side with how they kept themselves and others safe today. Jenna? That's right, Jessup. What once was a building behind me, now a total loss. That building was raised this afternoon here near 20th and Mitchell Street after a fire broke out at 3 this morning. This cell phone video from a neighbor shows the intensity of smoke and flames fire crews were fighting Monday morning. The Milwaukee Fire Department was on the scene for more than six hours, fighting flames from the outside and ensuring the fire wouldn't spread. This is a very tight-knit residential neighborhood, and we could easily have lost several more structures, but because of the aggressive nature of our operation, we were able to keep it to the buildings. The building is made to have businesses on the first floor and apartments on the second floor. But Battalion Chief Dan Rohde says it was vacant at the time. The building was under renovation from what we understand. Um, nobody's injured at this time, thank God. This was a difficult firefighting effort with outside temperatures nearing 90 degrees. It's tough because you can imagine wearing our gear. What it does is it re raises your core temperature to 120, 130 degrees. So what we do is we call in additional crews to rotate everybody. They also called in the Milwaukee Fire Bell Club, a volunteer support system for firefighters to help keep them hydrated. And we just try to constantly rotate our crews and make sure that nobody is going to experience any signs of heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Uh, thankfully, they were all doing okay. The cause of that fire is under investigation, and Milwaukee Fire Department wants to remind residents to make sure your smoke detectors are working and up to date. And also, they want to remind with these hot days ahead not to tamper with any fire hydrants because they really need to be able to use those in times like this. Reporting live on Milwaukee's South Side, Jenna Wells, CBS 58 News.